Back in 1962, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, headed by L.L. L. Lemitzer, wanted to blow up ships. They said again, like we did the main, <laughs> incredible, declassified, confirmed document. ABC News and Baltimore Sun reported on it back in uh, April and uh, May of 2001, right before September 11th. They didn't report on it after, though. The U.S. government had a plan, the government, to blow up its own ships, to bomb Washington, D.C., to bomb the Capitol, to hijack jets full of Americans and crash them, to kill astronauts in space. John Glenn, they actually list him, let him die in space, attack Marines at Guantanamo Bay using Army Special Forces, Rangers, paratroopers, dressed up like Cubans. Same system over and over again. As a pretext for war with Cuba and the Soviet Union and for a domestic police state crackdown. The North Woods document. And they say casualty list in U.S. newspapers would cause a helpful wave of indignation. What more do you need? I know it's hard to believe, but look at history. Is it any surprise? The point is we've got to speak out. We've got to say no. Because the government's telling us give up our liberty for security. But throughout history, anybody that gives up liberty gets tyranny. They don't get security. Uh, Hitler promised security if people give up their rights. Stalin promised security if the people will give up their rights. Pol Pot promised security if people give up their rights. But all they got was death and destruction. All they got was slavery, feudalism. America is dying, folks. And you've got to speak up. You can't count on somebody else to do it. You know something? I've made two films since September 11th. And in both the emergency release, the special report I put out for a limited time, and then, of course, my big official 911, The Road to Tyranny film, we're very proud of, I analyzed the USA Patriot Act. I went through the subsections. Of course, the USA Patriot Act is H.R. 3162. Congress passed it with, without even being able to read it. Ron Paul and others have been on the record saying that. Multiple congressmen and women have been on the record saying they were not even allowed to read it, uh, but were just told to pass it. And the White House threatened that if there's another terrorist attack and you haven't passed this, we'll use it in local campaigns against you to say that you aided the terrorist. Uh, Ron Paul refused to pass it, saying that he was being terrorized to do it, uh, but uh, a majority of congressmen and women did. Now, after September 11th, uh, I reported in both my films what H.R. 3162 did, a bill that no one in Congress was even allowed to read. I went in after the passage got a hold of it, looked at the subsections, where it said they'd have warrantless searches of your house, your business, they'd take whatever they wanted, including records, order you not to tell anyone that they were there, that American citizens for any crime, any misdemeanor or felony, uh, any violation of federal or state law would uh, not be able to have lawyers or face our accusers or even have a trial by jury, that we could be indefinitely held. And it clearly said that the new definition of terrorism was any action that endangered human life uh, that violated federal or state law. That was section uh, 802 of the USA Patriot Act. Despite the fact that I had read the legislation, I was still stunned September 5th when the Associated Press mirrored my analysis of the USA Patriot Act. And I read from Newsday, from the Associated Press, overview of changes to legal rights. Some of the fundamental changes to Americans' legal rights by the Bush administration and the USA Patriot Act following the terror attacks. Freedom of association. Government may monitor religious or political institutions without suspecting criminal activity to assist terror investigations. came out that Denver, Colorado, and many other cities have been doing this for decades. And it's not just uh, you know, so-called radical groups that are being spied on. It's the Kiwanis Club, the NRA, the most innocent groups you can imagine. Does that intimidate you, Americans? It should infuriate you to expose the terrorists that are keeping these lists on Americans. Freedom of information. Government has closed once public immigration hearings, has secretly detained hundreds of people without charges, and has encouraged bureaucrats to resist public records requests. Oh, yeah, they're shutting down the Freedom of Information Act. You name it on anything you can imagine. Freedom of speech. Government may prosecute librarians or keepers of any other records if they tell people the government subpoenaed information related to a terror investigation. Oh, it's more than just gag orders and subpoenas legislation clearly reads they can sneak and peek, break into your house, take whatever they want and then order you to never tell anyone. Right to legal representation. Government may monitor federal prison jailhouse conversations between attorneys and clients and deny lawyers to Americans accused of crimes. Not terrorism, 
crimes because now crime has been defined as terrorism. You've seen the ads where they've equated the war on drugs with the war on terrorism. Freedom from unreasonable searches, the Fourth Amendment. Government may search and seize America's papers and effects without probable cause to assist terror investigations. Right to a speedy and public trial, government may jail Americans indefinitely without a trial. Government may jail Americans indefinitely without a trial? Period. Not for terror, for anything. Not for foreigners, as Ashcroft said. He said, you're with the terrorists if you say we're taking American citizens' rights. And we're like, excuse me, we've read the legislation. It clearly states that. Oh, no. Those that talk about phantoms of lost liberty. You're only helping the terrorists. You will lose your liberty if you say this. It's an open threat. Right to liberty. Americans may be jailed without being charged or being able to confront witnesses against them. Oh, jail you without charges. Get rid of habeas corpus. And on top of that, don't let you face the witnesses brought against you. Absolutely incredible. Can you imagine things like this happening before September 11th? That was the only pretext they needed to promote implantable microchips, helicopters, face scanning cameras, national ID cards, FEMA camps. It's all in the news now. They're telling you it's for your safety while they leave the border wide open. You think maybe we're giving up our freedom voluntarily? Absolutely. We have no choice. We have no choice. We have no choice. All right, folks, now let's look at what the globalists are getting domestically out of the fear they generated with their attack on the American people of September 11th. This is the 911 police state section. Homeland Security, the Department of Homeland Security. I have read the 24-page synopsis put out by the White House in June of 2002. I have watched multiple hearings they've conducted in Congress and out of Congress. It is the total takeover of state and local police it is the takeover of Child Protective Services. It is the takeover of uh, the different uh, gun control organizations. It is the takeover of private corporations. There's discussions of putting troops in factories. I mean, it, it, it's just total Nazi Germany, total Russia. That's what Homeland Security is. Check it out for yourself. Right, this is the Philadelphia Inquirer. With Homeland Security in mind, summer camp trains teens. They're trained how to run checkpoints, how to confiscate guns, how to chase adults through the woods with bloodhounds, with the police to aid Homeland Security. It's called Secure Corps, a subgroup of FEMA, set up three years ago, two years before September 11th. Wall Street Journal shredding the Constitution. At least they got it right fact that America is basically ending. FBI objects to the Constitution. Mm. This out of a Denver courtroom saying the Constitution only aids terrorists. The jury asked for copies of the amendments of the U.S. Constitution concerning the deliberation uh, and the judge overruled the motion to read the amendments to the jury uh, and said the Constitution is a terrorist document. This is America folks. FBI objects to Constitution. Mainstream news. Bill Clinton transferred two nuclear reactors to North Korea that produce fissile material to produce warheads. They will arm the hereditary dictator of North Korea who kills millions of his own people with nuclear weapons material, but they want your guns, America. And now, just in case you think it's just Bill Clinton, George Bush is going to transfer another four nuclear reactors to Kim Jong-un. But bottom line, folks, America and the world is under attack by the globalists. They're using terrorism and the fear of terrorism to destroy our sovereignty, bring in foreign troops, to militarize our police, and to turn our military against us. Every nightmare the old-timers ever talked about is now happening. And how did those old-timers years ago know that all this was going to happen? Because they were reading the State Department's own documents. They were reading foreign affairs put out by the Council on Foreign Relations. They had watched world history, and they could see the changes that were already taking place. America's a great land, and she's strong. But there's too many wolves in sheep's clothing pulling at her heart, stabbing at her innards. We're losing our country. We're losing America. And our children won't grow up in a free country. They'll grow up in a high-tech police state. Help save America. Terrorism is being used to destroy America. Terrorism is about a political outcome. And look at what the politicians are doing for their banker masters. So please, help save America. Have the courage to spread the word. Because if you don't, no one will. And America 
will most certainly die. And we all live here. We can't afford to do that to our children and grandchildren. It's a battle for the republic. Please get out there and help us save this country. God bless you all. I'm Alex Jones, signing off.